Hello and welcome back to Living Abroad. My name is Alex and in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and explore Sipaway Island. Now this island is about an eight to 10 minute ferry ride away from San Carlos City, where I'm at right now talking to Kelvin, doing an interview with him and just spending the weekend away from the city. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly what this place has to offer. We'll check out some beautiful scenery. There's the ocean, there's some pools. There's a little bit of like a monkey little village or something. And we have a secret path, a secret bridge that leads up to like a watchtower or something. So yeah, stick around to the end of the video you don't miss anything before we continue guys if this is your first time to the channel do me a favor hit that subscribe button it only takes a second but really helps me grow this channel and continue making these videos now let's go ahead i'm going to show you guys what this place looks like let's go to get to sip away island you have to go to san carlos port pay 20 pesos for environmental fee then take the boat across it's only 20 pesos per head to get to sip away island by boat if you don't want to wait for others to join, you can have a private boat like we did and only pay 240 pesos. I really love the backdrop of the mountains in contrast with the sky and the ocean. It was really lovely. Once you get off the boat, you can hire yourself a little tricycle like this one and it's only about 100 pesos to get to the resort as we did. And while we drove there, I really enjoyed these tall beautiful trees. It felt like a movie to me. I love this island life. We finally arrived at Whispering Palms. The service here was excellent. The hotel staff, the resort staff were really friendly and they offered to take our luggage straight to the place we were staying. The great thing about this place, you can bring outside food so you can have your own barbecue. Now it's time to explore. This is a massive area, I'll show you guys what I mean. With two separate places you can check out here. And let's start with the Whispering Palms. You come through the gates here. It's just like my name. Hey! <laughs> you can rent bungalows. And oh. they have like a food menu Oh, there. they have a restaurant here as well. Yeah. Let's show you guys reception quickly before moving on. Yeah. Oh, a nice restaurant. Here is pizza. the menu. You can get a pizza for oh. only 250 pesos. You the price kind of nice and though. And tuna. For 300 pesos. Yeah, not bad. Oh, no, they very sell nice. like stuff there, like bedding suit. Ooh, look at the chandelier. Oh, beautiful. It is beautiful. Very nice. We can rent a bike, rental bike for 50 pesos all That's day. It. All day bike rental for a dollar, guys. What you know about that? So here is the bungalows on the right. I think you just sit in there. They got a table tennis court, some swings, a kid area. They have everything. They have these palm beautiful trees over here. Ah. Oh, hey, <laughs> shout out to palm. <laughs> okay, so this is wonderful. You can see the beach over there. Let's go for a walk, guys. Oh, we can play pool there. We can play pool as well. Now, what brought us here was that um, Calvin and I, of course, met about four months ago when he was in Cebu. And I came down here to visit him. He's got a guest house that he's letting us stay for free. Yeah. Uh, um, so it's a, nice. It's a nice place, a beautiful place. Um, it's actually a lot better than some of the hotels we stayed at, right? Exactly. So, uh, we're having a great time with them. We're here with his family. Just uh, They're showing us around this beautiful little island, Sipaway Island. And it's about 250 pesos to enter the, the premises if you don't want to stay yeah. at the hotel. But as you can see, they got everything. They got a volleyball court. Um, I guess it's a low tide now, but when it's high tide, you can probably go swimming there as well. Yeah. Um, Palm, what are your impressions of this place so far? It's kind of like huge press and it's kind of cheap, right? Just yeah. 250 each and we can use everything here like a pool, the beach and everything. So uh, it's worth it. Definitely worth it for, you know, five bucks, less than five dollars. And you can stay here all day. There's no time limit. Yeah. And they have got like a night show, fire show here at night, apparently. One thing I've noticed, the cloud formations here in the Philippines is always like a different type depending on the day. And it's kind of nice, something to look forward to daily <laughs> yeah we huh. should go to check the pool because they have two pool here which is monkey pool and bear pool how do you know this stuff because they have statue there oh, okay they have a statue there <laughs> so palm has named these places by herself yeah exactly. monkey pool <laughs> monkey pool and bear pool oh it sounds like you're saying bear poo <laughs> don't forget the l <laughs> oh. pool wow no one here Whoa, boo! Definitely worth it because no one here likes. Let's go swim. Oh, so cold. That is the worst dive I've ever seen, but probably a lot better than mine. <laughs> Mom 
palms here too. Palm, what did you find? See what I found? A baby coconut. A baby coconut? Yes. Maybe it's palm baby. A palm baby. Yeah. It's your baby? Yeah, it's my baby. Oh my god. <laughs> palm, how was the swim? It's so good. Yeah, so <laughs> so good. Actually, to be honest, we didn't see the sign. We were not supposed to actually swim there, right? Yeah. It's for the overnight guests, that specific pool, not for the day visitors. And I guess they could tell from our green bracelet. Yeah. Yes. And we found this trail that is apparently a secret trail. Let's see if we can go ahead and figure this out. Look at this tree. Woohoo! So oh, there's a trail right behind there. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go for an adventure, guys. Mm -hmm. Look at this beautiful like nature. I love this green like area full of leaves and plants and types of i don't know who knows right i like it i feel like a kid man like this is so adventurous to me look at this Ooh, don't fall through the bridge you have to be more careful i guess luckily yeah. we have two people <laughs> yeah so if i fall through you can call the ambulance <laughs> ambulance oh i see a tower Ooh. Interesting. Whoa, did you, were you expecting this? What a no, <laughs> I didn't know that they have some kind of this place Me right either. here. We just kind of uh, walked into this bridge and now we're up here on top of like some sort of sun view, sunset view uh, tower. Let's give you guys a glimpse of what this area looks like. It's truly breathtaking. Check this out. Whoa, you can see the skyline and the ocean there meeting with some beautiful tall palm trees kind of overlooking everything on this side right so look at that boom so many and that's the bridge down there whoa awesome and that was a pool that we're not supposed to swim in to be honest <laughs> but now we know it's a wonderful view you can really come up here later on and watch the sunset let's go back down one more cool thing about this place, this resort, they have actual live monkeys here in this little area. It's called a monkey park or something. Have a look. A little monkey. I feel like they can jump here very easily if they wanted to. You got a baby. Yeah. And that was Sepaway Island. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Leave your comments down below. Time to get back on the boat and return to San Carlos. See you guys in the next one. Huh? What are you doing? <laughs>